Next up, a good person. Oh, I think, wait, who's the one who saw this? Gil and Sir New Year? Did, I, did no one else see this? This looks like some indie bullshit. Here. No, no, it's it's great. It's great. Hold on. It's really good. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Zach, Zach it Brett. does kind of look like some, this is some perks of being a wildflower real, shit real, right real here. Real quick, real quick. Yeah. Zach, Zach Braff is no longer. Is, is it Zach Braff? <laughs> yeah. yeah it I was is. just going to say another Zach Braff movie came to mind, but whatever. It's so okay. funny. Oh my no, God. Yeah, no, Zach longer, Braff directed he's, it. He's no longer dating her, right? Florence Pugh. No, they, broke up. they are not together anymore. Yeah. Okay, so this is hilarious. Zach Braff cast his ex girlfriend oh, in a movie and made her like the worst person ever. Oh, and then yeah, called the movie this. a good person. I'm like, that's hilarious. Um, yes, this is a. Uh, I, I put this because Florence Pugh was on the list and I haven't seen a Morgan Freeman movie in a while. And also, someone recommended it. Uh, so yeah, I watched this yesterday. And, uh, look, it's not the most original thing in the world, uh, but overall I enjoyed it. Basically this girl, uh, she's, it means a totally unrealistic plot. She's bad at driving. Uh, and she gets, uh, like her, her, her fiance's like family, like killed in like this horrifying crash. And then like a year later, she's like addicted to like opioid uh, opiates or opioids. Did I say that right? Sure. She's addicted to pills. And basically the whole movie is her trying to overcome her addiction she ends up in a nar uh alcoholics narcotics anonymous group with morgan freeman who is her ex-fiance's dad who's also a recovering alcoholic uh and he's basically trying to like make sure she stays on the right path but also he can't really forgive her for what she did and it's like real melodramatic and whatnot i actually enjoyed it what did you think Gil? i enjoyed it too i, I yeah. think it's one of those movies where it's less about critiquing it and more about describing what it is. And you know if it's the kind of movie you're going to enjoy. Mm -hmm. And for me, I have a couple of soft spots where, number one, I grew up on Garden State, came out during my yeah. high school emo phase. Ooh. And I haven't rewatched it since because I know that people have kind of turned on it. And I don't want to watch it again to see why and, you know, reassess it with more mature eyes. But I still enjoy the Zach Braff style, indie music playing over people looking sad and riding their bikes. And like you said, it's very melodramatic. It's yeah. kind of corny, but it is well acted. I thought Florence Pugh did a good job. Morgan Freeman, of course, did a great job. Mm. And if you want to watch a movie that's going to be somewhat emotionally manipulative, it's going to make you feel sad. It's going to make you feel hopeful not with but not really get into you know deep character drama and really give the hard-hitting drama that maybe you would would want to see for you know the opioid epidemic or whatever yeah. but overall solid if that's your kind of movie i think you'd enjoy it yeah would you, would you guys say this is the godzilla minus one of indie films <laughs> <laughs> what it's really great and you would hate it yeah yeah, Adam. Correct. <laughs> yeah Adam, it is, it is. Uh, i'm sorry sarah you said you did see it yeah, yeah, I did see it. Um, I I enjoyed it. Um, I'm kind of a sucker for these type of movies. All in all honesty, I'm not mm -hmm. even gonna lie. Um, I enjoy these. Um, I for one really like Florence Pugh. So if she's in something, I'm more than likely gonna watch it just because I love her. Um, I thought it was good. I enjoyed it. I liked the plot. Um, I don't really have too much to say in specifics. I just I enjoyed it. It was a nice yeah. watch. Um, it got me, it was emotional. I liked it. Mm -hmm. It was good. Yeah. Um, I will say, uh, trigger warning, Crystal, uh, the director of the craft legacy is an actress in the movie that might, that might color your view. <laughs> I saw how long the movie was and that already <laughs> messed me up and I was like, nah, I'm good. I'll skip. That's this fair. One. Uh, I only bring that up cause I, I remember that I have two copies of the craft legacy and I saw that woman in it. I'm like, at some point I got to watch that stupid yep. sequel. I just recently uh, got mine. I'm so he excited. Said one, wait, I wait. got one too to my PO box, baby. So we collectively have three <laughs> fucking copies of the craft. Legacy. Oh, my God. And I also accidentally bought it. I thought it was the normal craft. And by accident, I bought that on Amazon a couple years ago, like when it first came out. And I was like, are you fucking kidding so me? Have, so I have a digital, have, I have a physical. Tony, you have two physical. We're we're like the wait, biggest wait. fans. Was yours also from a library? I don't think so. 
<laughs> this guy likes to specifically buy movies from libraries and then ship them to us. I don't know why. Anyway, Sir New Year, what did you think about a good person? Did you cry or are you manly? I got to tell you, it really put my manly skills to the test. Very emotional. Crystal, you said it right. It's a little slow and it's longer than it should be. But I think it's a good story because it deals with like addiction, grief, sexuality, mm -hmm. loss. It's and then it's touching and uplifting. It really brings me on a roller coaster ride and makes me feel things again. And plus, Florence Pugh is just like mm, perfect woman. <laughs> I will say, I, when I was watching the movie, I can't. What what age do men become model train guys? Because I can't wait to just be an old guy with a model train. I had a neighbor who had that. He was just this elderly guy who had a model train. I used to hang out down there. I'm like, I can't wait to reach this stage of life. This looks like the best stage of life, just having model trains going around but, and ignoring everyone. Tony, I thought by <laughs> already being in your 70s, you would already have that. <laughs> no? I hate to admit, I have a full bedroom of model trains over there. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. Do you have the whole setup, though? That's Dude, what it's I, all I need... set up and everything. I just bought the little hill things oh. on Amazon. I, look, a little look, podcast that's why you're with you super... and Tony. <laughs> look, that's look, how, look. yeah he's just super manly only super right. manly has trains that's right listen listen only real men collect trains tony <laughs> that's right, that's right. listen those. one day when hack the movies ends because i either i had too much fun on twitter or adam just couldn't <laughs> keep his racism to himself <laughs> i will have to get rid of the video store and i will turn it into a model train basement uh, and then maybe like just light myself on fire. Uh, but yeah, a good person. It's a feel good movie. It's not the most realistic thing hmm. in the world. Um, she just magically gets over addiction in a year. And I'm like, okay, I feel like it takes a little bit longer than that, but uh, it's got a good message. Uh, oh, and it has everyone's favorite Ghostbuster in it. Adam, can you guess who everyone's favorite Ghostbuster is? Why are we still on this movie, Tony? <laughs> Adam, Adam, <laughs> Adam, been Adam. This for a half hour already. Adam, and like barely has... anyone saw it. You know, a freaking Listen. fucking lineup of movies to get through, and we're 25 Adam, minutes. Adam, <laughs> I want you to guess what Ghostbuster is in it. I, I, I don't know. Bill Murray? No, no. Lucky yeah. from Ghostbusters Afterlife. I don't know what the fuck that is. Oh, no, no one remember. I heard. I thought that movie was great and real memorable. Is that no female one... Slimer? I don't know who Lucky is. <laughs> no, that was one of the kid Ghostbusters. Oh, I'm guessing that movie everyone yelled at me for hating wasn't that memorable. I uh, I thought everyone would know who Lucky is, but I maybe I was right. Maybe that movie was a piece of shit. All right, Tony, let's go to another bad movie. All right. Okay, okay. 